it's currently 4.25 in the morning. Um, I'm waiting for my flight to, New to Newark, New Jersey. Um, I have a stop there and then that's 5 hours um, and 30 minutes approximately and then from there to Tel Aviv is about 11 hours. Um, I haven't been sleeping very well this past week. So I am extremely tired. So I am finally in Israel, um, I am super excited, I am super happy, but I'm also really really tired, I haven't been sleeping good, um, during my two flights I try to take little naps here and there, but obviously like, it's not the same thing as actually laying down in a bed, um, but yeah I got here in Israel about two hours ago I want to say, um, it's currently it's currently like 2 p.m. I don't know the exact time. It's 2 p.m. here um, in California. It is 4 in the morning because I just called my mom. <laughs> she said it was 4 in the morning over there. But um, yeah, um, my two flights went by very smoothly. Um, everything went great. Um, I took a f my flight from, my first flight was from LA to Newark. And that was like five hours, but it was delayed by one hour. So I was really close to missing my next flight because I only had a one hour layover. But um, then from Newark, I took a 10 hour flight all the way to Tel Aviv. And then when I got to, to Tel Aviv, um, I had to take the train for about an hour to get to Haifa. And then I took a cab to get to the actual university. So it's been quite a day but um but yeah i'm here um i'm currently in my dorm um my roommate isn't here yet so i don't know who she is i haven't met her but yeah um i feel like really excited i don't feel sad anymore um when i said goodbye to my family i I didn't cry like I said before but um, once I got on the plane from um, to go to LA to New York Newark Newark once I got on the plane at LA to go to Newark I actually broke down completely because it hit me that I was going to leave my family for quite a bit of time um, but after that, I mean, I feel fine. <laughs> now I feel fine. Um, I'm just really excited. Um, I have to go downstairs for a campus tour that we have at five. So I have like three hours to kind of rest up and pack. Um, and then we have dinner scheduled at seven and then we just have the rest of the night to kind of rest up for tomorrow because we have orientation and I think just at counseling sessions 
not counseling sessions, academic counseling session. And um, we start, we don't actually start, we don't start like official classes until um, next week. This week is just um, what they call shopping week where we go into the classes that we think we want to register for. Um, and we kind of just sit in the classes, we kind of get a general gist of what the class is like and what the professor is like and we are able to just like walk in and walk out of classes and then um, the following week we actually register for classes so I think that's really cool, I like that um, but yeah, um, right now I'm just going to chill in my dorm and wait for my roommate I guess um, but yeah I can't believe I'm in Israel yet. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Oh <laughs> um, it's currently 5.12 in the morning here in Haifa, Israel. I just spent my first night in my dorm. Um, still no sign of any of my roommates. I'm supposed to have one roommate, like, in, to share a room with. Um, but she hasn't showed up. And then I'm supposed to have, um, four other roommates. Who, um, I share my little apartment with. But they're also not here. So, it's been, it's been really hard um, I don't like being by myself, so, um, it's definitely been a little bit tough. Um, I kept waking up in the morning, um, I couldn't really sleep, um, and I'm starting to feel really, really, really homesick, um, Um, I'm even having second thoughts, you know, about this whole trip. I'm like, do I, is this something I really wanted to do? Is this worth it? Um, but yeah, um, right now, um, I do have time for another nap. Because my orientation isn't until 9 in the morning, um, but I honestly don't even feel like taking a nap.
the best traders in Haifa in this time because they had a, a straight connection to Europe. If you look at the end of the street, it's so the Where are we, Grace? Bahai Garden! Yeah, now we're at the top. Yeah, we're at the top. When we came with our group, we started at the bottom and we couldn't really go further. <laughs> we just covered <laughs> this. I know, we didn't even cover that one. too strong for my taste. I don't know if I would have it again to be honest. It was, uh, <laughs> but, it was, try but it was good to try because like I've heard someone so many people like say that that's like something I would try when you come to Israel. So.
but um, I I'm really just hoping that this um, whole getting to the university thing goes smoothly um, I if I do get lost I mean I think it's gonna be a good learning experience um, I'm gonna learn a lot I'm gonna grow as a person this trip is gonna be great right now I'm just trying to be really optimistic about everything even though um, I don't really feel sad yet but I know it's coming I know I'm a very emotional person so I know it's gonna I know it's coming um, but um, for right now I just I just can't wait I I'm definitely like, a little bit nervous about meeting my roommates because I'm going to be living with 11 other girls and I don't know any of them um, I wasn't given their contact information and I won't I won't get to meet them until I get there of course but um, I'm just hoping for the best I know that this is gonna be one of the best one of the best memories in my life and I know that I'm definitely gonna grow as a person